the $30,000 Can Open Challenge, brought to you by American Car Care Centers in conjunction with CNA in the International Can Open Bowling Association. Hi again, everybody, and welcome back to the Woburn Bowler Drome. John Holt with uh, Dan Murphy. We got a new champ last week, and he bowled very well, Craig Holbrook. Uh, both the bowlers bowled very well last week. Not a lot of strikes, but we saw some terrific spare shots. And, of course, we're looking for that triple strike. We still got that $1,000 hanging out there for anyone who can, uh, can throw that triple strike. This week, we got to get a challenger for our champ, and there's two people from Western Mass, Don White and Tim Susie. Craig Holbrook, not only the new champ, but also now on top as we look at the top two game totals to date. He posted a 295 last week, moving him into first place, some five pins ahead of uh, Dave Barber. Craig uh, joining us now. What do you remember about last week? You, you were really in a groove. <laughs> well, you, sometimes you don't really remember a lot because you're so involved in the match. But uh, yeah, I know I had a good time. It was fun. And you know, from now on, you know, with that score being up there, who knows if it's going to hold? I'm going to see if I can get it a little higher, maybe. Wow, that'd be nice. Maybe it over 300. Be. That'd be tremendous. And that's a goal. <laughs> Greg, thanks. Good luck today. We're back uh, with the challengers match right after this on CNA. I keep wanting to run away from you guys. for another edition of the $30,000 Candlefin Challenge. And we are set to go in the Challengers match. Don White on the right. We'll go second, Tim Susie. Set to go first. One game Challengers match. The winner to take on Craig Holbrook. Returning after winning, taking the title away from him. Oh, and he opens with a strike. A start for Tim. Look at a few of the butterflies away from you after throwing a ball like that. It's a great way to open up. You see the replay of that strike on our pin cam. Get over a seven pin. There you go. So a fill here in the second for Tim. This time missing the head pin, but leaves himself the one, seven, ten, and the eight pin. The high-low jack plus the eight pin. Got the high and the low, but the jack stays up. Total of nine for the fill. So 19 in box one. Oh, that's a nine. Nine is he hit the pin in the channel. So total of 28 for Tim. Not a Don White from Pittsfield out in Western Massachusetts. Glad he made the trip in to be with us. You see bowls out of the candle lanes where the final roll off was held as well. Left hander. Trying to break that ball from left to right. That time it kind of hung out there to the left, missing the head pin. There. Almost converted that for a spear. Don kind of sneaks up on him a little bit. Very slow in the delivery. Make it a nine box. Tim open with the strike, Don with the nine, then Tim had a nine himself in the second. Let's see what Don can do opposite that nine box. Over on lane 36. Takes out five. Leaves the a one, two, four, seven. And also the nine in the back row. Takes care of that one in the back row. Leaves the four horsemen still, though. Just a seven. 16, so a 12-pin advantage for Tim Susi. Steps up onto the lanes for his third and fourth frames. Craig Holbrook waiting in the wings after a 295 two-game total. Awesome week ago. Six pin drop for Tim. Got the one, the two, seven, and the ten. 
Three more, just the 10 up. That'll push the total to 38 through three. Tim calling Brattleboro, Vermont home. This is his fourth box. Tries to convert the spread eagle, which it takes out just the six pin. Terrific out. Give them 47 through four. Don White now looking for his first mark. Don with an average of 118. Right on the head pin to take out nine. And, and all of them. Well done. You see the replay, that one is in kind of slow motion from this point on, but just enough momentum to knock that four pin over. First part of the fill gets him six. A diamond leave of a three, five, six, nine. Climbs back to within four pins of Tim Susie. Can gain another one count here. He's opposite a nine. And no. He'll match that nine. So he's down uh, four, still 47, 43. Four boxes down, six to go. The one game challengers match here on CNA. No, 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 no. Leaves the two, the four, and the seven. On with the eight, excuse me, the nine and the ten. Yep. If that wood will carry everything or not. Try to split the three, uh, the two and the four. But takes out just the four pin. So he gets eight there in the fifth, pushes the score to 55. We have a contingent here from New Hampshire, all the way down from New Hampshire. On the left is uh, Helen Fellows, and then next to her in the red is Cynthia Boyce. I'm going to skip the next person there for a second. We can come back to them. And He's a good friend of mine, Gordon Fogg, who, who escorted the young ladies down to the taping today. But the one sitting right next to Gordon, it's 10 bucks. In the green, one next to Gordon, a good friend of mine, Gordon Fogg. Now the Red Sox have Coco Crisp. <laughs> well, there's nothing on the $30,000 candle pin challenge because we have Pansy Pebbles, folks, right there next to Gordon Fogg. Pansy Pebbles. Oh, what a All name. All right, that's, the, that's her name, Pansy P Pebbles. He squared. Yeah. So eat your heart out, Red Sox. <laughs> Nice to have them come all the way down from New Hampshire to, to join us for the taping. Here's Don in the fifth. Just second mark. And the strike in the third. Now the spare in the fifth. And slow and steady is Don White. Very deliberate. Ball breaks quite a bit from left to right. Tries to control it with his speed. But he's going to drop at least six and take over the lead by four. Leaving himself the one, two, four, and of course the nine. Pansy Pebbles. Almost fun to say, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. 
Make it a 10 box. Keeps that edge at four, 69 to 65. Actually, reversed. He was trailing by four, now up by four yeah. for the benefit of that spare. Don, uh, Tim opened with a strike in the first frame, but he's yet to have another mark. He'll try with a four horseman left. Piece of wood behind the one and the two should, should keep those pins in play for him. Catches the head pin, he's got a chance of this one. Got him! His second mark open right away, uh, right off the bat with that strike. Now a spare here in the seventh. Yeah, so the pin cam, you can see how that, just a domino effect. Actually, the two pin came off, or a four pin came off the wall for the seven. Now the fill right through the middle. Fill of five. Yeah. <laughs> Every pin so very important now. This is uh, very close. And that's nine to get the score to 89. Here's Don operating in the seventh. Right in the pocket, in the one-two pocket, leaves himself to 5-9. Chance for another spare. <laughs> Gotta hurry. Oh, yes! yes, enough off the wall. Yes. Matching the spare put up by Tim Susie in the seven. Take a look at this one. A little light on the five pin, but just enough to come off the wall and knock down the nine. Here's the fell. Six. Some a five pin advantage. Trying to increase that lead with this four horsemen. Just the head pin remains. Staring down that number one. So his advantage is at five pins, eight complete, 94 to 89. See what Tim can do, would love another mark. And he has it on his shoe. Shake things up a little bit. Wow. Well, after it's all said and done, he's looking at the seven, eight, and nine. Sounds easy enough, but I don't think he's real <laughs> pleased with it. No. Might want to avoid the first piece of wood and clip the second piece. I think that's what he's trying to do. Picks up one more pin and kind of disgusted with that whole box. It's, it's an eight. He's going to need a mark, I would say, in this last mm -hmm. frame to, to force Don White to put another one up. Trails by five coming in. Well, he's going to have a shot at the eight pin. Piece of wood out in front. Let's see where it settles down. Looks like he played the wood. Left of the red line would be good. Well, here we go. <laughs> An extra ball, and it's going to be very interesting for Don White. Trailing by five, but he had an eight box in the ninth frame, so I would say he needs at least seven to force Don White to put another mark up. That's assuming Don pins well. Is That's pretty good. Gets all ten! And all of a sudden, he finishes at 117. 
Take a look at that last strike. Tripping the four and the seven pins, the last two to go down. So it's set it up for you. Don White is at a 114 clip. Needs a mark with at least four. Kevin Bowling today? Yeah. Next uh, the third. Spread Eagle. What he doesn't want to have is a bad frame. Two, four, seven, three, six, ten. Space up the middle. Oh. Well, so the two goalposts stick around in the seven and the ten. He won't get the mark here in the ninth. He'll get a chance again in the tenth. Each pin important, he picks one more up. All right, needs to spare a strike with four on the tie, five on it to win. And again, we go down to the last frame. White knuckle and nail biting time. Boy, it's to the right, tough spot now. This could be a tough conversion for a spare. Oh, we had a technical. I was sitting way down there because I couldn't get a seat. Let me ask you a question. The pants are coming with you. Still wearing those lucky pants. I'm not. <laughs> oh, that close. Right? Yeah, so Tim Soucy yeah, with that dramatic finish in the 10th is going to stay alive in advance, survive in advance to meet our reigning champ. He wins it by four. 117, 113, Craig Holbrook and Tim Susie up next right here on CNA. Back, folks, and before you write letters or make phone calls to my home and stuff, there was an addition era. Uh, Tim Susie had a mark in the sixth. And we marked it down as a 10. That's when I was introducing our, our famous celebrity in the audience, Pansy Pebbles. And my right hand man, Earl, just couldn't, couldn't handle the job. So I got to throw Earl under the bus. And I still haven't made a mistake in years. <laughs> 123, 113. That's in right. The numbers for Tim Susie. He's now taking on the Craig Holbrook, who's going first in the championship match and starts by dropping nine, leaving the six pin. So the correct score, as John said, 123-113. Timmy advances against our champ. And he starts where he left off last week, making marks. Posted the best two-game total of the season to date a week ago with a score of 295 to a better by five pins, the 290 from Dave Barber. There's the fill. Oh, my. He hasn't lost anything. Looking good again today. Six pin again. Craig Holbrook. Two marks to open with. In 20 boxes last week, Craig had 13 marks. That's uh, pretty good. Tim's going to take out five to start. One, three, six, a couple in the back row, and four more. Surveying the situation, now he's ready. Make it a 10. Earns the 10 box. First of two games to determine the champ. Wants that six pin to go, but it doesn't. Two, four, six left for Tim. Got a chance. Oh, my. He cut the two pin too fine, and it went in front of the six pin. I don't see that happen very many times. Too sharp. A pair of tens. Early nine pin lead for Craig, plus the fill coming up in the third. 
Starting with those two spares, one and two, he comes in with that average of 130. Seven on the fill, chance for three marks in a row. Misses the triangle in the left-hand corner, the four, seven, and eight. Ends up with nine. The score to 45. Here he is on 36 now. Right through the middle, spread eagle. This is a different week, but last week I would say he's got a shot at this. <laughs> he was making everything. This time leaves to 3 6 10. Three, three. It's a couple open ones, 9 and an 8. The score is at 53. Tim Susi up looking for his first mark of the championship match. Drops nine of ten. Chance for the mark right here if he can take out the kingpin. Targeting the one and only pin, and he got it. Here's his first mark, spare in the third. Right back in the pocket, leaves uh, drop six, leaves two, four, five, and seven. Still looking at the four and the seven. Third ball on the fourth for Tim. Did you get that spare roll in the third box? That a boy. <laughs> Oh, the power of the microphone, John, huh? <laughs> Good thing Earl doesn't have one. <laughs> Craig Holbrook back on lane 35. What else? On the head pin. Leaves the five and a nine. Piece of wood out in front he's going to have to use. Got the wood, went around the pinza. I think he realized he had to be above the red line, to the left of the red line. We went too far left and capped the wood. Ten box to get him to 63. Well, that's an interesting one. Four and a five. Piece of wood in between, though. Got a choice. Clip the five pin on the right-hand side and make it and possibly catch the four pin. Yes. Nice shot. Made that look easy, though. Three spares now over the first six boxes. One, two, and six for Craig. You see the replay. Catches the five pin clean, and the wood takes out the four. Back to Tim here in the fifth. Oh, great shot. Well done. Splits the three and the, and the two and the four, and the two goes all the way over for the ten pin. What a great shot, great spare. And you see the replay. Watch the two pin right off the wall into the ten. What an addition that is, the pin cam. So the fill is eight. Looking at consecutive marks, is if he can uh, pull it off. With the three and the ten, There'll be a little guide there. That piece of wood out in front. Ten sticks around. Ten bucks. So all of a sudden, it's a 
one pin game at 73-72. Six boxes into game one of two to crown a champ. Back with more on CNA right after this. Well, we've got a tight championship match so far. Craig Holbrook, the reigning champ. On the right, Tim Susie, the challenger on the left, and the champ is up now here in the seventh. He's ahead by a pin, 73-72. Owns that high triple of 505. That's a pretty good three game total. Just two on the spare. Increases the lead to just three pins. Almost converted that half wister to a, another spare. Ten box to 85. To the four six ten. What in the middle? Picks up the two, but that's it. Get all the pins. A couple ten boxes in a row to get a score to a ninety five. A lot cooler than the pace he was posting a week ago when he had a 151 in the game one of the championship match versus Hawk Hallis. Light hit on the head pin, but leaves himself a triangle in the right hand corner, a left hand corner, 478, and we'll have another Earl sighting. like a man that would have made a scoring mistake. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> Susie now. Spare attempt. The triangle. Got it. It's his third mark. Three spares. Three, five, and seven. Decent, uh, decent drop of eight after missing the head pin, but he doesn't like that wood in between the one and the, and the two pins, I'm sure. That gives him the lead by five pins also. This wood could cost him the two pin. Ten more to 100 and a five pin lead now, 100 to 95. Holbrook in the ninth. Leaves two of them up. I think that would might be favorable to carry the ball off the piece of wood for the seven and the wood take the five. No, nope, one right by the five. Craig had those opening marks, one, two. And then he has been had uh, a string of open frames ever since. Three ten boxes in a row now, four of the last five. I take that back, he did have a mark in the sixth. And he's at 105 now through nine. Wants that four pin to go, does, leaves himself the ten pin for a mark in the tenth frame. No problem. Picks up his fourth spare of the game and he'll get an extra ball. A 
he'll add this to the total as he heads it again. Two. Just four. 119 when you add it all up for Craig Holbrook. Tim's turn in the ninth. All oh, ten. Strike. His first strike to go with three spares. Just kicking that five pin out for the strike. Set four marks. Two, three spares and a strike. All on lane 35. Lucky for him, he'll get a second ball that counts towards the fill here on 36. Total of seven. And now this last ball. And the lead's at seven, 126 to 119. Game one in the books, game two to follow. Right here on CNA. Back for game two of the championship match with the challenger, Tim Soucy. Up by seven pins on Greg Holbrook as is customary. Challenger will go first here in game two. There's a look at Tim up seven pins. Six of ten go leaves the four, seven, six, ten. He's an outside chance because of the wood sticking around. Gonna use that wood hopefully for the four, uh, four, seven, and the ball take the six, ten. Store. Right idea. Total of nine for the first box, game two. Tim from Brattleboro. Vermont, that is. Five pin drop, two, four, seven to the left, six, ten over to the right. And then he gets the four in the middle of the two and the seven. He will be open in his first two boxes of game two. That's nine plus eight more, 17 for Tim Susie. Well, chance for uh, our champ to erase that seven pin deficit he finds himself after one. Oh yeah. Strike for Craig. Fast start in game two. It's a quick one folks, right here, 10 pin. Five pin drop. Four horsemen plus the nine pin. No wood to help him. How about the seven? It'll stay up. No giving the lead back. Up by four pins now through a total of 12 boxes for these two. On to the third frame. Game two for Tim Soucy. You see his average of 123. It's precisely what he rolled once we corrected it in the Challengers match, 123. So open for the first three now of game two. A nine, an eight, and now a nine again. That's what he wants, 10 pin. 
It'll be a tough pin for Tim because his ball breaking right to left. He's going to have to use a little more speed to straighten it out for him. Otherwise, it'll break into that piece of wood. Got it. Got it. Well done. So a spare in the fourth for Tim. Craig back in for his third box, game two. Seven pins drop. Two, four, six remain. Picked off the four only. Over to the fourth now. <coughs> Opposite of spare. Oh boy, uh, he, he is does it one better. Throw him some terrific strikes. They just explode when that ball's in the pocket. Watch this one closely, folks. It doesn't last long. Great ball. Two marks now in the second game. Both strikes by Craig Holbrook. Tim Susi now works on his spare in the fourth. Oh boy. Wow, just one on the fill. That hurts. Just the three pin. You wonder how that can happen. to the right. So that's a seven. Scored a 44 and he may remember that fill of one if it ends a real tight match. That stinks. Now he opened with three open frames then he finally gets that mark and think well decent fill another mark he's on his way again. Let's take the wind out of your sails when you only get one on the spin. Almost converts that. So open in the fifth and sixth will be Tim Susi. It's all the pins that time. His game score up to 54. Chance for our champ to really put some distance between himself and Tim working on a strike. They keep going, that's eight of them. The seven and the eight in the back row remain. He's gonna have to try to use this double piece of wood out in front. Oh, got man. it! Use the wood, got the seven and the eight. Spare on strike for Craig Holbrook. Increases the lead to 15, plus this ball and the spare. the eight, the nine pin to go, but he leaves himself the four, seven, and nine, but he's got plenty of wood out in front. Got a shot at this one. Drive the wood straight back. Yes! Heating up big time. The champ looking good with four boxes to go in game two. Take a look at the replay. Just drives the wood straight back. That's what it's for. Strike and a couple spares for Craig Holbrook. Back with the finish after this on CNA. All right, welcome back as we wrap up game two of the final four boxes. The challenge of Tim Susi with some work ahead of him. Currently down some 22 pins overall. Plus, Craig will finish off his spare, fill in the seventh. Susie, make a second approach here. Get a little bit of the moisture off of his hands. Something's 
was not right. You can no. tell with him. Yeah, it should have maybe got a little more moisture off. Oh boy. Half wish to right, half wish to left. And a great out. <laughs> That's what he wants to throw the first ball, though. Still have time. He's got to start tying the marks together these final three frames and have some decent fills. Put a little pressure back on Craig Hoover. Oh, he wants that six pin to go. It's rocking but not falling. So just the one, the real story, just the one mark for Tim in the fourth and the fill was just one pin. So that tells you. Yeah, good 10 box. A lot of what you need to know. 10 here in the eighth to push the game score to 73. Craig can go a, a long way in icing it with a big fill right now in the seventh. And he will net seven. I don't think he's going to try the single pin with a piece of wood trying to snap it across. That's nine. Now the overall lead to 29, the game lead 36. Looking at four pins. Now he's going to play the wood, I'm sure. Couldn't dig out the back row there. Seven and the eight remain. So that's a nine. And the lead is at 35 for the game, 28, the, that's the key number, 28 overall, final two boxes. Susie here in the ninth. Boy, just threw his hands up, just can't carry that extra pin now. Nine and 10 pins left and tough piece of wood out in front. See any other choice? You got to try to play it, but I want it farther to the right. Continues to uh, have issues with his grip and hand. I think being a little slippery. That's a ten box final uh, frame now. The tenth frame for Tim and Craig Holbrook is going to retain championship. But Susie not going down without a fight. Strike in the 10th. You see the replay of that strike. Do two more like that and you can walk away with a thousand bucks at the end of the season if he's the only one that does that. Once we get the thousand dollar pool is for anyone that is able to complete the triple strike. Won't get it here but has a chance to pick up three more. Goes spear on strike to finish. Instead it's a nine. 102 his score in this game. Total of 228. Our champ is at 227 right now with two frames remaining. So he'll move on. Next week he's got uh, two pretty good bowls coming in. Chris Bolvier of Nashua, New Hampshire, and Kevin Davis from Pembroke, New Hampshire. So two uh, Granite Staters coming in. Of course, Kevin Davis was on our very first uh, championship show several years back. And Chris Bolvier has been with us, and another one of those young guns. And the second season as well, I was just informed. So there's a spare for Craig in the ninth. Phil gets him a couple. Make that three. 
And his last ball coming up. He will be back again with us next week. Shooting for three in a row. A different performance than a week ago when he posted that big 295, but takes it today by 19, 247 to 228. Back to wrap it up here in Woburn right after this on Scenic. Welcome back, Craig Holbrook winning again for a second straight week, this time over Tim Susie. Not nearly as spectacular as the uh, 295 of a week ago, but very steady and uh, good enough to win. Yeah, it was actually a good win. I mean, all the bowlers here are quality, so you always have to bring it. And believe it or not, being behind after one kind of was a good thing, because it woke me up. Kind of, I was on like a little ride there for a while, kind of feeling easy, and being down was a good thing, I think. Are you familiar with uh, your opponent this week? Um, I know him from the World Tournament and things like that, but, I, you know, not real close relationship now. So you know you had something and you being oh, down by oh, seven? Oh, absolutely, yes. Oh, I know. I had to do something in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. well, Craig, congratulations. We'll see you back for third week next week. Oh, great. Sounds good. That'll do it for the $30,000 Candlepin Challenge. We thank you for watching right here on CNN.